So for this envelope, I'm going to use some of this vintage book paper. Found out why my camera was shutting off for me. Apparently I can only film in 30 minute segments or less. And if I go longer, which apparently I'm doing on a regular basis, then um, it shuts off automatically on me and I don't know that's happened. So I keep blabbering away and filming away, only I'm not getting anything. So I knew there was something about uh, a 30 minute thing, but I didn't understand it and I didn't ask enough questions. So I've paid the price. Anyway, for this clip, I've set my phone on a timer to go off in about 25 minutes. So if I go over it, I'll have a, a bit of a warning. vintage paper but as you can see it's very delicate and breaks apart easily I'm making ephemera for a Japanese style journal I'm making and um, so I've already made one envelope it's a return address envelope with a a window in it show that to you in a second. I'm going to go just slightly beyond. So I can wrap it around onto the front and have a crease there instead of a cut and a crease up here instead of a cut. So, here's that other envelope that I did and, um, but it cut off before I was finished and I have no idea how much of making this I got on that clip. I haven't looked at it yet, so I will find out in time, in due time. Just not right now. So I'm just randomly taking pages from several different books. A couple of them were printed in the 1800s, and then one was printed uh, 1900. It generally takes having something that old to have your pages turning brown on you. 
unless of course they're left out in the sun somewhere along the line which doesn't happen to most books too far away. Hopefully, if you weren't hearing me very well, hopefully it's better now. everybody today are you all doing fine are you crafting along with me hopefully doing something productive besides just watching me work I have I have some poetry and I also have some dictionary pages here I'll need to grab historical regardless of what the author was saying the fact that they've lived for a hundred years or more Harry and I had gone back to our college room after the wedding there we received an earnest letter from Mr. Hebatol, begging us to come to her at once. Or Miss, not Mister. That's what that says. Here's chapter something or other. It's a little bigger text. So I'm going to lift that out. there. Okay, when you are creating, time does 
slip by rather quickly and you wind up very surprised that half an hour has gone by when you feel like you just got started. So my camera stopped recording before my alarm went off and I know I didn't lose too much because I was keeping an eye on it but I had set it for about 25 minutes and it still went stopped on me so I know that I need to give myself a maybe a 20 minute warning. That's pretty pretty good for this side. I just have the reverse side of the flap and we'll have this done. in it plus the calligraphy so I think that'll all tie in together nicely Oops. I think we better cut off this I think we're gonna cut down to where the calligraphy starts
Okay, that's the front and the back. And it does a little bother me there that I've got a bit of a crease going on there. And I think I'll see if I have I think I'll see if I have some washi tape that I can run across there. Harry. Sorry, Harry. a little more professional look and feel and I don't have a ragged a ragged edge going along here okay so I may off camera because this vintage paper is so fragile I may decide to um, use some matte Mod, Mod Podge and cover it with an acrylic seal to keep it from getting torn and ripped off there and protecting it a little more because it is so fragile. But anyway, now you can see that I've got two coordinating envelopes to use as ephemera in a journal and I can stick all kinds of additional ephemera in the pockets of both of them. You got the word journal there. I have no idea what my calligraphy is saying there, but maybe I'll use this other one that I cut off on this back side. Yeah, I think I will. So it doesn't go to waste. And sort of carries through similar feeling overall that the other envelope has. I'm still recording. Yay!
minutes if that needed to bring a little balance. Notice I don't put things in the middle. You want to stay away from the middle. So you go over, you know, if you divided it into thirds, you know, you want to be roughly one third in or one third in this way. And it just is a better feel to your overall composition. Stay away from the middle. Okay. I'm gonna... I think that's probably all I have to contribute on this one, so Miss Darling is calling this a wrap. Bye-bye.